In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp message from MS Excel. So every time a new row is added to your Microsoft Excel, then the details are there. And there is a number, like let's say there is a number, phone number, email address, contact, uh, like details, etc. Now what you're doing is, you have got the new lead, and now you're sending a WhatsApp message to the person using Interact, which helps you in sending WhatsApp message. How? By integrating the two applications, and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software, where your trigger application is Excel, and your action application would be interact now how can you do this yourself integrate and automate this entire process to understand that let me take you to my screen to begin with the process we are first going to type the url pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software on the right hand side we can see two options sign in and sign up for free so if you are an existing user simply click on sign in if you are a new user click on this tab sign up it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks so now i'm going to click on sign in as i'm an existing user here and here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Again, on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is, let's say that I've got the new leads data in my Excel sheet. So I want every time a new row is added in my Excel sheet with the data, then a WhatsApp message should be sent to the person informing them about my business or just telling them about the successful subscription or registration. So now I'm going to name it as send WhatsApp message from MS Excel. Now I'm going to click on create. As I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. Action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. So now, my trigger application here would be MS Excel. So I'm going to look for Excel here. Here it is. Now the trigger event. So tri now the trigger event. So the trigger event is the event that is going to make your workflow run. Here it would be new row in worksheet. So let's click on this. Now here on the right hand side, you can see that it is written. This trigger will check for new data in every eight hours, which basically means that this trigger application has a polling time of eight hours. So this workflow is going to run in every eight hours to fetch for new data. Now I'm going to click on connect. And here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Microsoft Excel account. Let's click on Add New Connection and connect with Microsoft Excel. So as I do that here, it is asking me for the access. I'm going to click on Yes. I have already logged into my Microsoft Excel account. And now you can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, here I'm going to take you to my Microsoft Excel so this is the Excel sheet that I have created. The name is client details. Here I've got three clients and the mobile numbers. So taking you back to Public Connect here, you can see since there's only one workbook with me, so it has already been captured by the system. And since again, there was only one worksheet, so it also has been captured by the system. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that, the last data that was updated there would be received here. So here we can see this is the name and this is the mobile number of the last last data that was updated there. Now, what do I want? My objective is to send a WhatsApp message to this person. So I'm going to select my action application as interact. Let's click on this. And now the action event here would be to send WhatsApp template message. Let's click on connect. As I do that here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Interact account. So I'm going to click on add new connection. And now we need a secret key. For this, first you have to log into your Interact account. I have already done that. And now I'm going to click on this hyperlink. As I do that, here is your secret key. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect, paste this over here and click on save. So here you can see that Interact is now connected with Pabli Connect. And now we have to map this information. The country code, phone number, full phone number, template code name, language code, etc. Now the phone number that we have received here doesn't have the country code and the plus sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this format. So here I'm going to write plus 91. Then here I'm going to map the number. How do I do that? So as I click on this, it is going to show me the previous step. And this here is the mobile number. This is just a random number. And suppose you had 
the mobile number with the country code you could have directly written it over here mapped it here why because here you have to provide the full phone number along with the country code and the plus sign and if you do not have that then we use this format you don't have to fill in the entire three together you can either go for this or this one now the template code name so templates are basically pre-written messages that can be sent to your clients and customers here the fields the basic fields like the name email address website name or the mobile number these are variables which can be changed with every message and you don't have to do this manually let me show you a few templates that i have already created so here i'm going to go to the active templates and as i take you down so here you can see new lead let me show you this template so here the language selected is english now in this template we have the option of a header but here i haven't selected anything you can go for a text or an image video or a document then comes the body hello and then there is a number written within double curly braces thank you for reaching out to us we are excited to hear from you and learn more about how we can help you our team will be in touch with you shortly to schedule a call and discuss your needs in further detail please let us know if you have any questions or concerns in the meantime regards and then there's another number within double curly braces and team what are these numbers these numbers are variables that can be changed with every workflow and now comes the footer so if you want to mention anything you can write it here and then the buttons so call to action buttons can be added here so now i'm going to just simply copy this here is the template code so i have copied the code going back to public connect here i'm going to provide the template code now comes the language code since the language was english the code here is en it is very well written here that for english the code is en if it is english us so you have to write english en underscore us this is how you have to mention now comes the header value since we did not select anything this is going to go blank body variable values so here i have to map two information one is the name and another one is the company's name so i'm going to click on this go to step one and this here is the name now since the name of the company is not going to change with every message i'm just going to write this manually so this becomes static information this this here is a dynamic information now we haven't chosen cta button so we are going to leave these two options blank and let's click on save and send test request and here you can see that we have received the api response which basically means that now we should have received a message on whatsapp so let me show you the same and yes here we have received the message which basically means that our integration process is a success and now since there is a polling time of 8 hours we are not going to check this in real time and this was the integration process let me show you what we have actually done so here our trigger application was microsoft excel where the event was new row in worksheet and our action application was interact where the event was send whatsapp template message i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using public connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com connect to get all the details about the latest updates the integrations and applications you can visit our facebook group if in case you have found this video helpful then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.